there as well. Now here's a really good example. Let me pause it. As you can see, some of these cells aren't perfectly round. They have condites wrapped around them, and sometimes you can actually see them sticking out. Now this is blood breaking down, but we'll get back into the center of it. Her blood is sort of a mess. Um, and here you can see, and this might be the after. Um, no, this is still the before. Um, as you can see, a lot of her cells are out of shape. This is ideally what your red blood cells should look like, nice and round. You can actually see the chondrites sticking out of the cells. The light cues inside of these cells show the parasitism of the cells. Her cellular oxygenation is horrible. This woman's very tired. Uh, she had breast cancer. They said they got rid of it. With this much cellular oxygenation, it's coming right back somewhere. Um, I found this in the morning. She had lunch. She drank her formula. This is her dry blood cell. Um, this is what's called oxidology. It's the other piece of equipment that you can do um, with this. But I'm just going to show you the dark field for right now. There's more on that later. A lot of colon toxicity there. Um, so after lunch, she drank her remedy, and 20 minutes later, this was her blood. This blew me out of the water. I could not do this in 20 minutes in my practice. The screen's going to kind of be moving kind of quickly because I can't believe what I'm seeing. If someone showed me this tape, if I didn't personally do this myself, prick your finger and film it myself, I would not believe that this is actually possible to do. Her cellular oxygenation levels have just increased so dramatically. Her risk of cancer just dropped immensely. And to do this with one remedy, it blew my paradigm out of the water. Um, did she did clear or...? or um, she did clear. She did clear. Um, and Hence, since then, I've dispersed my practice in South Lake Tahoe, taken on the waters full time, and I go around the country and I teach healthcare providers about this equipment, teach them how they can use this in their practice, and teach them about the perfect science formulas. And the results that we've seen are, are just amazing. Um, I mean, unheard of in the several week period. But what this is, is with no, one, one is remedy. That? This is a big piece of plaque and crystalline formation. Oh, a, a plaque? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then and this is just like in one drop of blood. Yeah, this is all in one drop of blood. Wow. Absolutely. You can actually pan probably around 30 to 40 screens in every direction from one drop of blood. Now, the center of the sample is going to be your truest reading. That's going to be what your blood actually looks like in the side, inside your body. As the slide plate comes down, it pushes some of the cells out to the sides. So the sides of the sample aren't really a true reading, but it'll also show you the blood breaking down. But I couldn't find more than four of her cells stuck together after that first picture. That absolutely blew me away. I want to show you one other client of mine who has allowed me to use her blood and use her name um, as an educational tool for the world. Her name is Sylvia Anderson. She's a wonderful woman. And she's from Nevada City, California. And she's had chronic fatigue syndrome for 13 years. Um, this is not her blood. This is this is actually pretty healthy blood. This main person, his biggest thing was he's a painter. He has a lot of chemical exposure. Um, he's a painter, so he's constantly in, ingesting a lot of things. I want to show you this one happy white blood cell. <laughs> these are your red blood cells, your, leukos or your erythrocytes. These are your white blood cells, or your leukocytes. And this is a very happy um, This is his dry blood. Um, which I'll get into more with Sylvia's because it's a really good example. Um, so when Sylvia came to see me, um, this woman has carried a chair with her everywhere she goes. Um, it literally took her every ounce of energy she had to come see us. It looked like she was going to die in the chair. I mean, she plopped down and just had to rest for five minutes before she could talk or open her eyes. Um, chronic fatigue syndrome for 13 years. This is what her blood looked like initially. As you can see, a lot of these cells overlapping each other. Her cellular oxygenation is horrible. This is why she's so tired. The reason they're overlapping is because of bacterial overgrowth, infiltrating the cells, using the cells for their own proliferation. Um, these little dots that you see in here, these are the different microorganisms that are found in the blood. These smaller guys in here are all still living in a synergistic state. The reason they're all clumped together here, you can see the strands of fever or fibrin that I was talking about earlier. This always is present in all arthritic conditions. Here you can see a couple of leukocytes, white blood cells. Um, this is Sylvia Anderson initially. 
We worked with her. I came back 21 days later and looked at her blood. We did no dietary change. We did no lifestyle change. The only thing we did was put her on perfect science formulas. Well, I just recommended them, but she decided to go for it. Um, let me show you also her dry blood, and I'll explain a little bit of what we're seeing. But as you can see, you know, just get a good mental picture of what this blood is looking like. Okay, here's her live blood. Do you see all these holes in here? Well, first of all, we can see a bunch of heavy metals in her system, um, which is what these darker rings on the outside are. Now, do you see all these holes in here? This is all free radical damage. Okay, when we see these white holes in an oxidology test, this is showing me that she has a lot of free radical damage. The blood cell is red. This is called oxidology. It's red a little bit like iridology. The center represents the colon. It has the internal vital organs, external vital organs, the circulatory ring, and then the lymphatic ring. I just want you to really focus on, see all this free radical damage. We always take eight of them. We look for consistency. There's stuff that we see in the smaller samples that we don't see in the first. And the smaller samples is when the adrenal stress will show up as little tiny holes in the center. And usually the heavy metals show up more in the later samples versus the very first one. It's a lot of adrenal stress in here. A little bit of colon toxicity by the darkness of it, but that's really not too bad, but decent amount of uh, free radical damage. So 21 days later, we come back. Sylvia has her chair, but it didn't take every ounce of energy for her to get there. Um, and you can start to see kind of her little child glow come back. This is in 21 days, just perfect science formulas. No dietary change, no lifestyle change, and this is what it did. Her cellular oxygenation increased dramatically. In 21 days, I couldn't do this with my current remedies. I, I couldn't. I could do that in a couple months, two or three, but not to that point in 21 days without working dietarily at all, just having her use the perfect science formulas. The formulas that she was using, Breaker, Clear, she ended up using some Alpha eventually as well, and most of the biomedical. As you can see, her cellular oxygenation is much better. There's hardly any overlapping. She still has bacterial overgrowth in the form of chondrite. She still has some parasitized cells. But for 21 days, that's a pretty, pretty radical improvement. And then you can see the life coming, coming back into her. Um, at this point, she mentioned she hasn't felt this good in the last 13 years. And this was in a 21-day period of chronic fatigue syndrome. Tried everything known to man. The other thing that we're noticing here is these metals are actually starting to come out of her body. You'll notice that the outside area is actually darker and actually increases in size. Now, looking at some of the free radical damage, it's not as obvious in this picture, but it's starting to fill in. You see these like darker areas. These were all free radical damaged at one time. The body's starting to fill it in. The other thing that we can see is her adrenal stress got greatly reduced, the amount of adrenal stress in her oxidology test. And then this other one was 10 weeks later. This is the same woman's blood. This is in, in 10 weeks we did this, and, and that's unheard of in my old practice. Look at how thick her cell walls are. Look at how much light she's carrying. Look at how much life there is. Now, these larger sizes in here, these are living synergistically. These, these big ones, like right there, that's a synprotip. What that was was chondrites, and they're regressing back into their synergistic form. Her cellular oxygenation is great. She came in, she had no chair, she looked like a little girl, she was glowing, and she said, thank you, thank you for giving me my life back. No dietary change, just using perfect science formulas. Some more and of those? It's, it's not perfect. It's, it's definitely, you know, she has some work to go. Is it the, the more you see those, the better, the more? Yes, the, the more microorganisms that you're seeing here, this is also related to enzyme production. So she's got a lot of life, a lot of enzymes. If we were to look at a little kid's blood, these guys would be moving, you know, twice as fast. You look at someone who came through chemotherapy, it's a still picture. Oh, wow. Just a, a still picture. There's no life in it whatsoever. The chemotherapy patients that I've seen. Um, so yes, you want to see a lot of these. Um, when we don't, I like to get people on raw, fresh vegetable juices and get more raw foods into their diet because they're, they're minus enzymes. One of the things, there's so much depression going on in our country. If you're enzyme deficient, your enzymes balance your hormones. If you don't have the enzymes, you can't balance the hormones, guess where you're going? Sorrow and depression. So a lot of times versus jumping on Prozac, we can get enzymes in the body, which is what I prefer to do because it doesn't create the free radical damage or dissociate from the emotional body. 
Um, and you can actually clean that. This is actually a fungal form. That's an ACIP that we're seeing up there. So, you know, she has some work to go, but compared to where she was 10 weeks ago, this woman's happy. She has her life back again. And she's redesigning her house because her house used to be all designed around one lazy boy. One lazy boy, her desk here, the TV here, you know. And she's actually able to walk around, go to streams. She doesn't carry a chair with her. And she's glowing. Now, this is really exciting. Wait till you see her oxidative test. Ten weeks. Where would all that theoretical damage go? That's unheard of in my regular practice. In a ten-week period, um, this microscope has proven to me that these formulas are not a bunch of hocus-pocus. Um, I've never seen anything so effectively through the microscope. Look at how much metals are starting to come off her body. See how much wider that ring is? I've never seen a remedy pull heavy metals out of the body so efficiently. I used to recommend uh, an algae that's a red algae called pro algin which is really good at getting heavy metals out. All your seaweeds are very good at getting heavy metals out, but not to this extent. She's still got some adrenal stress. She's still got some heavy metals. Eventually, this whole darker ring in here will disappear. So, you know, she's, she's, she's going, um, but just a dramatic change in a 10-week period. This is why I love this system. You can document it. You got an initial, you get people on programs, you come back and you retest them. I would actually like to, to use a colon cleansing product besides just the formulas, and we'll see the center lighten up a lot as well. How often do you get retested? Um, that's up to you and up to the valuability. Um, ideally, every month, every other month would be great. Um, I'm here in Tahoe right now. We can do initials. Um, we're hoping that there's a professional in this area who has the microscopy equipment. We're hoping that he can take care of a lot of that if he chooses to. Um, if not, I can definitely come back and do retests. I can't promise to be back in four weeks, but I can promise to be back within eight weeks to do retests if people are interested. That reminds me, um, I'm out of videotapes, so if you guys want to film your blood tomorrow, bring your own videotape. The other thing I want to point out, empty stomach is preferable. Not required, but preferable. If you eat, we're going to see your food being assimilated in your blood. That's the beauty of this equipment. You take a remedy, you can see the effects of it 20 so minutes later. So how many later. hours prior? Um, two hours is, is a great window. Uh, it's not required, but, um, but we'll just see more accurately what your blood's doing without digesting food. You could drink a freshly squeezed carrot juice. I can look at your blood 20 minutes later, and we're going to see the enzymatic activity really lively up the blood. If you eat a big carbohydrate meal, you know, a big pasta meal, we'll see that coming into your blood. We'll see spirulina coming into your blood. That was Sylvia Anderson. Um, I'm very grateful that she's allowed me to use her story and her example to educate some other folks. That's really the beautiful part about this system is it takes the guesswork out. Um, I'm not guessing whether your cellular oxygenation is good or bad. I'm not guessing if you have heavy metals. I'm not guessing if there's systemic free radical damage. I'm not guessing if you have parasites or fungal overgrowth. It's all here. As we get people on a program, we're not guessing if we cleared it up. We can see it. Um, and that's why I like this system. It gives a 26-year-old a lot of validity in the holistic field without being an MD, um, which is, you know, an issue. Um, the other thing I'd like to talk about is a little bit about some of these formulas. Um, the meditation formula that Raphael is carrying it's a great basic starter formula. It, it starts the whole process. All of these formulas, whether they're physical, and I'm talking about internal now, um, they all work physically and energetically on the body. Some of them are more efficient at certain tasks than others. Meditation water is a great formula to get started on. When I look at people's blood, I've been around the formulas enough to see, looking at the blood, what formulas people get to go on. I also work with a lot of clients that I've never seen their blood. I have clients in Illinois, Texas, California that I've never even met, met through over the phone, just getting a simple health history, what's going on in the body. We can recommend a, um, a treatment plan. Um, now, I'm a holistic health practitioner. I do not diagnose and I do not prescribe.